What's up guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com, back with you in another video. This time, we're talking about the A320 and the 737, hopefully you can see what I'm writing here, hydraulic system. Specifically, we're talking about the landing gear transfer unit on the 737. Uh, there's also, of course, a PTU, which we'll talk briefly about, but first thing, I'm gonna grab a different marker that hopefully will be more visible. The 320's got a green hydraulic system, a yellow and a blue hydraulic system. The 737 NG, we've got the A system, the B and the standby. Now, these are pretty similar in that the green and yellow, like the A and B are the primary dominant systems and the B or the blue and the standby are the standby systems, okay? Now, they both have PTUs or power transfer units albeit the 321 is more capable than the three than the uh, 737 is for reasons that probably go beyond the scope of the video, but the 7.3 does have a higher capability in terms of gear retraction than the 320, which comes in the form of the landing gear transfer unit. Let's talk about this for just a second. See, on the 737, the landing gear is raised and extended, okay, via the A hydraulic system, and on the 320, it would be via the green system. So think of green and A pretty much as very similar hydraulic systems here. Now, if we lose all of the green hydraulic quantity, it goes to zero. The only way to extend the gear is with the gravity gear extension, but then there's no way to retract the gear because we no longer have green system fluid. That's not true on the 737. You see on the 7.3 NG specifically, the A system could drain to zero. We would have to manual, do what's called a, a, a manual gear extension which is like the gravity gear extension, tomato, tomato, potato, potato, okay? So 0%, we do the manual gear extension. Now, can we raise the gear? Not really. However, we do have under certain conditions the help of the landing gear transfer unit. Now, as all things systems related in the Boeing, FCOM Volume 2 is where we find all things systems. And specifically here in the hydraulic section, which is chapter 13, you can go and find a little blurb on landing gear transfer unit. And it specifically states that if the landing gear handle is up and the number one engine goes below a limit value, the landing gear transfer unit will come to life and via the B hydraulic system, the B system will actually raise the gear. So I was in a sim training a crew and I wanted to demonstrate this to them. So what did I do? We failed the A hydraulic system, brought it to zero. We conducted the manual gear extension. You can see here the A system on your screen now. It fluids at zero percent. Then we placed the landing gear handle up. Of course, the gear is not going to come up. There's no fluid, right, to retract the gear. But now we complied with the other part of what's in this FCOM that says the number one engine goes below a limit value. So what did we do simply for demonstration? I failed the engine. And, and by placing the start lever to cut off and failing the engine, we got that N1 and N2 value to go below whatever that predetermined value is, whereby now you can see the landing gear actually retracted and the retraction happens entirely from the B hydraulic system. Now, where would this come into play in the real world? Imagine for a moment that you had a hydraulic system A failure, you manually extended the gear, you are on the approach you end up doing a missed approach, and on the missed approach, positive rate, you put the gear up, but it's not going to come up unless maybe that engine fails, number one. God forbid number one engine fails, and the gear would actually pick itself up on that go around for you. That's a great feature here on the NG. The 320 doesn't have that, you see, because the green hydraulic system does the extending and the retracting of the gear, and if it goes down to 0%, there's no way for the yellow system to really retract the gear the same way that the B system via the LGTU can retract the gear. Now, it does have a PTU, but the PTU doesn't quite have that capability because the power transfer unit should have been labeled the pressure transfer unit because really what a PTU does on both aircraft is transfer pressure. It doesn't transfer quantity, and of course there is no quantity in the green, and therefore there's if there's no quantity, I can't give you any pressure because the PTU is developing pressure for the assumption that there's fluid in that green system. But since there's none, it's no, really no help. So it also can't retract the gear. So the LGTU doesn't rely on the A system at all. It actually uses B system fluid and pressure to retract the gear. And it also has the PTU. Now, 
There's many things I can talk more about PTUs. The 320 PTU actually is far more capable than the 7.3 because this 7.3 PTU only operates leading edge devices and auto slats. I talk all about that in our online ground school program at onestepprep.com. By the way, as I do the PTU on the 320, what does it do? When does it work? How does it work? Inhibiting factors. All these things are what we cover at onestepprep.com. The system review, the probable question on the oral, the preferred response that ultimately guarantees your oral exam success. Juan, enjoy your friends and training program success. Really hope to see you here in Miami or visiting us online and joining our ground school online at onestepprep.com with a video course. Very much look forward to working with you. We'll see you in another video.